the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams with this quote i would like to invite mr ritesh goel sir founder and md gibs business school to share his inspiring thoughts and for oath recitation a very good morning to all of you this is not the power see the seniors can tell you what is the power of gibs good morning everyone good morning, thank you so before i start my speech i just want to play a video of about 2 to 3 minutes which will actually explain you that why life is so complicated i'm sure there are a lot of takeaways from this video please read every line every sentence in this video so uh, i'm sure you would have got most of the answers uh, about the complicated life uh, whenever i feel low you know i watch this video i have watched this video maybe more than 500 times in last 3 years and why specifically i talk about last 3 years i'm sure everybody has uh, seen the heat of covid right corona so the word corona says that corona means don't do anything but trust me in last 1000 days we have worked equals to at least last 10 to 15 years 
So, you know, uh, whenever I see this video, I always get motivation. So, uh, uh, first, uh, I would like to welcome all the dignitaries present on the stage, uh, Dean, Madam, our all HODs, uh, faculty members, non-teaching members who has worked day and night to bring this batch on board, parents and my dear friends who are joining newly to this institution, a warm welcome to our family. You are the leaders, ever-expanding family of GIBS Bangalore, who are going to take torch of this institution further and further. Thank you for joining us today. I am sure you, you all have come with a lot of dreams, a lot of dreams. We are here, we are here with you to achieve those dreams with you. See, as my designation says, most of you feel that it's managing director, but I always feel it's master of dreams. MD stands for master of dreams. In fact, I put A in between, M and D, it's MAD, master of association and dreams. So that is something what I believe in, but you cannot, you cannot make your dream into the reality till the time you work hard. There is no replacement of hard work at all. There is no replacement. You have to work very, very hard for next maybe about 500 days. We, we, we call it as two years of program, but technically it is somewhere around 15 to 18 months of program and then your placement starts. Uh, and in fact, I would say the tension starts. So whenever you are in tension, just open this video. And I'm sure, you know, this video on YouTube, I have seen a thousand people on but I have seen it a So, uh, you know, because I get motivation out of it. So, I, as I always say, just fall in love with learning. Uh, what does that mean? I, I didn't understand this particular line till 2020. And in COVID time, when we were having nothing to do, all were at home, so I just started reading a, a book of Robin Sharma called 5 AM Club. And the day was 3rd May 2021. And till date, I get up at 4.50 AM without fail. Even, even if I am in any marriage, anywhere, even if I sleep at 4 o'clock, I get up at 4.50. And everybody present, over, uh, present here in the hall can witness it. The reason is everybody gets a message by 4.50 a.m. by me without fail in last about 1,000 days. And Sandeep sir has shared yesterday that the people who get up at 5 o'clock, they have a sixth sense. And you know, I could relate a lot of things that we always talk about taking risk, entrepreneurs takes risk and all these things. See, it's, they don't take risk at all. I don't think any entrepreneur is taking risk. It's an employee who is taking a risk of joining the company and believing the company. <laughs> so it's not an entrepreneur. I always believe that entrepreneurs are actually, it's R stands for rice, I stands for in, and SK stands for sky, rice in the sky. So if you take risk, keep taking the risk in your life, why entrepreneurs don't take risk? Because I always call it as a calculative risk. Because we can, you know, it's all about, uh, what you call it as, uh, we, can, we can just make it out that if I am investing X amount, this is going to be a surplus. And most of the cases, it is a reality. Most of the cases, it is a reality. So, uh, uh, and I, I would emphasize on the word networking. Please network as much as possible. You know, uh, I, I believe in networking. I personally go and meet n number of people. We have a set up PR department. So it's not a public relation. It is a personal relation. So networking is something which will actually make you to achieve your dream in the short term. We call it as a shortcut of success. It is a shortcut of success. So, and, and the most important part, I see uh, the young generation when I say young generation, I am 36, by the way, okay? So, uh, uh, when I see, uh, you know, the young generation, they believe in style statement. 
they always carry you know the an amazing uh, uh, personality and and style but i don't see a substance so substance is something which is very very important if you don't carry a style but you carry a substance that is more than sufficient in the life to get successful and that i saw it during my journey in iim bangalore i saw most of the professors they were not carrying a style statement but the kind of knowledge the kind of degrees they were holding it was extraordinary it was extraordinary but yes if along with substance you are carrying style nothing can beat it nothing can beat it so guys uh, this is something and the five important things what i personally believe in my life and i'm sure uh, the people who know me uh, uh, will definitely say yes with me that yes i do follow the first thing is speed speed is very very important time and i'm sure all of you can witness the time slot whatever mentioned over here and the wall clock is there time when i say speed and time so the most important part is the decision making it should be super duper fast in our organization we don't have a board meetings we don't have anything called we are going to decide in our next board meeting in our this meeting that meeting on the table we say yes or no and no is nothing like you know we are not going to work with you it's next opportunity so have a habit of saying no also it is very very important for a leaders to say no so that is and third most important part is interpretation what does that mean interpretation means make every situation in your favor trust me i am sure i don't know uh, if you agree with me or not but none of them would have seen anger on my face i am not an angry man i always says i am a hungry man i have a hunger for success i have a hunger for success i am a crazy man and i interpret the situation what exactly it is favoring me even if i am losing 5 lakhs rupees this is a real incident we relate it with something that yes we did something wrong a few years back so we have paid it to the god and we make situation in our favor because that is going to teach you something great so you have to interpret the situation we always interpret most of us i believe 95% of us interpret in a negative way i would share a small story in 2007 9 i finished my mba and a boy from a small village where his father has sold the house and send him for an mba and trust me it was a pgpm program and after joining the program i wo i i actually came to know what is pgpm pgpm is post graduate program in management which actually doesn't exist anywhere in the country now non aict approved program took admission that oh city in bengaluru and you know my father used to say my son is studying in bengaluru my son is studying in bengaluru and then the other uncle used to say yaar bl aajkal bangalore nahi ahmedabad number 1 chal raha hai because according to them bangalore means only iim bangalore they were not knowing that there are 200 or 300 plus business schools so 2009 was the biggest recession in the country i landed up in a company called frankfin institute of aerospace training as a business development executive with a salary of about 8500 and you won't believe that my entire family was very very happy the kind of dream you present in front of them they are going to believe in that why they were very very happy my dream was to get 50000 rupees salary that was the highest dream i had in my life but why they were so happy at least ab kuch mangega to nahi he is not going to ask anything from us they were so happy and the first question my father has asked pg ka kharcha to nikal jayega na isse and 2009 i interpreted that situation in favor of me 
I called my brother from a place called Manali where he was working with a salary of 1500 rupees. And we both started a company called Pathfinder. And we were on the peak of uh, the company. We were having about 175, 125 full-time employees and 50 contractual employee. And you won't believe. And then we have actually made that company to 25 employees and we started with GIBS Business School. We always leave the job when we are in trouble. No. We always leave the job when the company is in trouble. No, we should not. We should always leave the job when we are on the peak of the job. When we are on the peak of the profile in that company. Because I don't have anything else to do in my life with that company. And this is where we left Pathfinder. We were the hottest cake of the market. Every institution wanted to cut us at that point of time. In fact, the Bangalore University Vice Chancellor has called me and said, I really want you to associate with at least 30 plus colleges of Bangalore University. They are struggling with numbers. And then we started, this is how the journey of GIBS started. And 2014, uh, the trust was registered before that, but 2014, this is the 10th year of GIBS. And this is how the journey of GIBS was started. As I always say, interpretation. Make everything in your favor. Always say, three idiots may Amir Khan bolta na, all is well. Always say that, all is well. Situation is in my favor. Agar dunia mein sab logo ko wo mil jaye jo wo chahte hain. So do you really think this world will run? Not at all. No. And the fourth point is positive attitude. Always carry a positive attitude. Most of the corporates, sorry if I am wrong, please correct me. Most of the corporates are hiring the people with positive attitude. They give more weightage to positive attitude than the ultimate knowledge. Absolutely. Skills can be taught. So positive attitude is something which is an important aspect of life. And the last but not the least is consistency. You should be consistent with whatever you are doing. With whatever you are doing. Ek cheez ke piche pad jau. Have one idea in your life. I have told, I have committed everybody that I am not going to have anything other than GIBS. I eat GIBS, I sleep with GIBS, I live with GIBS. And when I say GIBS, when we came up with IRE school, Innovation Research on Entrepreneur, let's have it as GIBS IRE school. When we came up with finishing school, let's have it as GIBS finishing school. Very shortly, we are starting with our podcast, most probably by next month itself, under the IRE school. Let's make it as GIBS podcast. Everywhere, GIBS, GIBS, GIBS. Ek cheez ke piche life mein pad jau. Machis ki tilli jo hoti hai, math stick. Itni si hoti hai. And imagine the person who has made it is making thousands of crores. Usne zindagi mein kya kiya hai? Sattar asti saal mein only machis ki tilli banai aur kuch bhi nahi kiya. But the biggest problem is I want to score 100% in everything. In marketing also, HR also, finance because papa mummy ko bolna hai. If I'm good at marketing, if I'm great at marketing, give your 1000% to marketing. Bakiyo mein pass hoge to chalega. I should become an expert. And the expertise will only bring the earning, not the degree. We call it a skill before degree. So have faith in yourself. And when you focus on your goals, you know, you lose your problems. When you focus on your goals, you lose your problems. When you focus on your problems, you actually lose your goal. You lose your goal. I always talk about problems. The moment I landed in Bangalore, hostel ka khana kharaab hai, ye kharaab hai, wo kharaab hai, pani nahi hai, this, you know what? You are paying just 5 to 10% of your total investment for all these things. 90% you are paying for the knowledge. 
am i talking about it am i giving 90% of the time discussing about that i am not i am least bothered i am really interested in talking the investment which is just 5 to 10% just 5 to 10% and which is temporary not the permanent you are not going to be in hostel for 20 years right so uh, uh, and and you know the most important line i would like to say sir i am taking a privilege of 5 to 10 extra minutes the reason is my talk was scheduled at 11:45 but i got the mic at 10 11:35 uh, so so i'm making use of that time okay so uh, so i always tell the young chaps struggle from 25 to 35 struggle from the age of 25 to 35 and enjoy for rest of your life or or enjoy from the age of 25 to 35 and struggle for rest of your life the choice is yours i finished my full time you know the egmp program madam was my senior in iim bangalore uh, madam finished in 2010 11 and i finished in you know being a md of the school i finished in 2021 and 22 and every saturday and sunday i used to go there full time lect lectures for about 8 hours a lot of assignments projects and thanks to my professors who has helped me to complete the assignments and uh, projects and uh, made me to score a plus in that and also you know uh, the interesting part as Pratik sir has mentioned, he is from Marwadi family. In fact, I am from Marwadi family. So Marwadi, if you invest in the juice. So I invested lakhs of rupees in IIM Bangalore. And you know what I did? I attended all the lectures. I did projects, assignments and everything. But along with that, I clicked 1,200 pictures of the campus. And I took pictures with almost all the professors of IIM Bangalore because I was knowing that today's IIM Bangalore's professor is tomorrow Stanford professor, tomorrow Harvard's professor. So today if I am putting that picture may not give me a lot of leverage but imagine if I am putting the same picture after 10 years then Professor Anshuman is the professor as a Harvard. That is the power of networking, that is the power of photographs, collect as many as photographs you can because you never know that out of these bunch of 180 students tomorrow CEO of the company so you are going you are standing beside a CEO of the company click as much as possible I gathered a lot of database from there you won't believe on the second or third day my brother Ravi was telling bhai tune to paise vasool kar diye sare can I do that None of the professors can teach you this thing. None of the professor. So that is, uh, you know, an important part. And then, uh, you know, you are going to be studying uh, for next one and a half, two years with almost 30 plus professors, uh, full-time and visiting faculty members. And uh, they all come from a great background. Then 50 plus CXOs and founders through IRE Talks, which was a great initiative by GIBS about two years back. And then you are going to have about 30 plus CPMP trainers on every Saturday. Saturday where most of the institutions are shut, uh, shut at 12 o'clock, we are operating from morning 9 till evening 5, 6 or 7. So every Saturday is going to be the most entertaining day. I'm sure you, you all are looking at each other. You're not habitual of it on the graduation days. So now you have entered to school once again. Discipline, top level. Top level discipline. So Jobi Dadagiri Vadagiri hai, wo sab chhod dijiye. Even I come from a background of Delhi. I was carrying a lot of things in my mind when I came for an MBA. But trust me, Bangalore is the city which will change you like anything. Which will change you like anything. So uh, we did a lot of infrastructure development in last uh, one year. We have come up with an academic block, one more academic block for about 300 plus students. We are coming up with a clubhouse outside the campus for students. So we are going to inaugurate it on 1st of January. I'm sure Ravish sir uh, will be angry on me because I'm announcing the date. <laughs> so he always have that problem with me. 
and uh, then then we have acquired the land outside the campus in the main road so we are going to come up with few more academic blocks for about uh, 1000 plus students and lot many things we don't sleep we sleep with our dreams itself and the most important part i would like to share today is the few departments we are coming up with uh, in coming future also coming up with the executive education program and the first program which is very close to my heart is PGPIRE. So that program what you are going to get it as a part of your PGDM program we are starting for executives very shortly maybe within six months span of time. So that is going to be an expansion of Gibbs IRE school and that program is accredited by QS uh, uh, you know which is uh, known in the world ranking. And yes the biggest dream what I see I always take a round of that building. It is not a building, it is a big campus. In the morning, every day, the Gibbs International University by 2030. And this campus also, sir, we started in 2015 in, in this locality, 14-15. And uh, sorry, 2019 and 2014-15, I started visualizing this campus. And you won't believe this campus has come much better than the visualization what I have done. And when I talk about visualization and imagination, I visualize as it is. And to my craziness, I'm sure many of them has witnessed, I have shown them the new university campus also. This is how it is going to look. We don't have land, we don't have money, but we don't, we have a readily available campus with us. And you won't believe every day I take a round of that campus in the morning. Every day I take a round of that campus in 40 acres. So this is the power of visualization. Imagine whatever you can. The law of attraction. I don't know how many of you believe in law of attraction. Ask, believe, receive. You just ask. In the morning if you will see me, no, you will feel, oh, this man is a beggar. I ask from God. I ask like anything, like a beggar in the dark room. And believe, I work on that. I work very hard on that. And the most important part is receive. Universe will conspire to do it for you. You don't need to work. Believe in process, as sir has mentioned, and madam also has mentioned, not the result. Just believe in process. Keep doing the process. We always aim at, I am going to fetch 5 lakhs salary, 7 lakhs, 8 lakhs. I feel so bad when you talk about 5, 6, 7 lakhs. You know what? If you talk about 5 lakhs, you are not going to get more than. Can I ask for 1 crore? Can I ask for 2 crores? Can I ask for 3 crores? And aapke andar ke jitne bhi parts na body ke everything will start working accordingly. Everything will start working accordingly. So believe in dreams and the last seven important messages I want to give because many people are confused how to start. How to start. Last seven important messages. Start before you are ready to start. Start before you are ready to start. Never say I don't know where to start. The third point is, the first step is to figure out the first step. The first step itself is to figure out the first step. Discipline equals freedom. Many of you must be thinking, how is it possible? Discipline is a foundation, not a freedom. Tie is mandatory in the campus. A student comes without tie in the campus. You know what? The full day, he or she will be hiding herself or himself from the professors, from the everyone. But the man who comes with the tie will walk like this. He is free. Discipline equals freedom. Done is better than perfect. Perfection is a myth. Done is better than perfect. Do it right now. Make mistakes. 20% is what you, 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 know, you learn in your classes from theory. 30% from practical and 50% from the mistakes what you commit. Make as much as possible mistakes because done is better than perfect. Do not believe in perfection. 
Ego is enemy. E for eliminating, G for good, O for opportunities. Ego is your biggest enemy. I am not egoistic. Business करने वाले लोग, धंधा करने वाले लोग कभी भी egoistic नहीं होते. Ego is the biggest enemy and take criticism as a blessing. If somebody criticizes you, just say thank you so much. I have a capacity to say that. And I do that on a regular basis. Criticism is the biggest blessing. Last but not the least, what we believe is what we achieve. Law of attraction. What we believe is what we achieve. So last may quote ke saath, I'll just close my speech. Samandar bano samandar. I'll explain you in English also. Samandar bano samandar ki log aapki gherai naapte naapte thak jai. कि लोग आपकी गहराई को नापते नापते थक जाए मींस गैदर सो मच ऑफ नॉलेज गैदर सो मच ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम हियर दैट पीपल आर स्केर्ड ऑफ मेजरिंग योर नॉलेज थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर नेक्स्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर अ ग्रेट जर्नी विद आर फैमिली थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू डिग्नेटरीज थैंक यू the one 10 minutes i gave you i'll take one minute out of it Even if i had a chance to go back in time and do the mba i'll be more than happy to do it in your school that's how i want to summarize it uh, i i i have something to say uh, i hope uh, you have heard it right that sir we are coming up with an executive education very shortly so I, w I would love to have you as a part of But I have not given any entrance test. If you can give me admission without it, I am ready to come. <laughs> Definitely, yes. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I request all the students to please stand up. We'll talk, uh, we'll take, uh, you know, the oath, uh, which is a tradition of GIBS. And I'm sure you are going to take it very seriously in your life. Uh, yes, I, it should be displayed on the screen. Uh, shall we start? I, Ritesh Goyal. Uh, this is something I like every year for last 15 years, sir. <laughs> All right, so you can just take your name. I, Ritesh Goyal. Believe in me and my ability to excel all times and under trying circumstances. I shall take great pride in being a Gibbs student and make every possible effort to bring glory and accolades to this prestigious institution. I understand I have a purpose in my life. I will humbly acquire the fruits of knowledge bestowed by this great institution. I will work hard and lead an honest life. I shall sincerely try to lead an honest life. I shall sincerely try to lead a corruption free existence and will set an example for others to adopt a righteous way of life. I will light the lamp of knowledge in the nation and ensure that it remains lit forever. I, always, I shall always uphold the dignity and name of GIBS and shall take great pride in being an integral part of this eminent institution. I will always be thankful to my parents for supporting me in getting the best education and making me as a responsible citizen of the country. I will lead a fearless life and face all the challenges with positive mindset. I am happy. 
I am a happy soul. I will always remain as a happy soul. A big smile. Thank you so much. Thank you.